Hi everybody, it's time for lesson 13. This is still module three, place value. Here's our homework helper. We're on page 131 of lesson 13. And what we're gonna be doing is drawing the place value disks. So if it helps you, you can make the number first with your place value disks and then draw what you see. But we should be able to look at this number and know there are two in the ones place and seven in the tens place. Drawing out the place value helps you realize that that seven isn't seven ones, it's seven tens, so it's, the value is 70, and that the two is just two, two ones, okay? That's what we're going to be working on today. We're going to be drawing place value disks to show these numbers. And then we're going to practice saying them in standard form and in unit form. So our first number is 43. If you need to, you can label the sections of your place value chart so that you know hundreds, tens, and ones. It's just a reminder. We don't have any hundreds. We're going to be starting with our tens. And the digit in the tens place is a four. So I am drawing four place value disks. And I may have drawn them too small. It might be easier to write that number first. So I have four tens and three ones. So this time I am gonna write my number first and then draw the circle around it. That way I know I have enough room. In unit form, we have four tens, three ones. In standard form, we say 43. So now we have those same two digits, four and a three, but now we've got a zero in the ones place. So we're not gonna have any ones. We're gonna have four hundreds, three tens, zero ones. So especially for a hundred, I'm gonna write that number first. 100, 100, 100, and then I'm gonna draw my circles. It's hard to get all those numbers in there. And then I need one, two, three tens, and zero ones. So in unit form, I think we already said it. There are four hundreds. There are three tens, zero ones. In standard form, we say 430. Number three, we have two and seven and zero. So the two is in the hundreds place. So I'm going to draw two of those. Seven is in the tens place. So I'm going to draw seven of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there aren't any ones. So when I say this in the unit form, it's almost exactly the same. It's two hundreds, seven tens. In standard form, I'm going to give the tens the value. So it's going to be 270. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Excellent. So now we have those same two digits, but they're reversed. So instead of seven tens, now I'm going to have seven over here. Oh my goodness, right, very small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two in the tens place. 
So now we have seven hundreds, two tens, zero ones. To say this in standard form, we're giving it the value 720. Great, we're almost finished. We've got two left. Here's those same two digits, but now in a very different place again. So again, I need seven in the hundreds. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred or seven hundreds. And I don't need any tens this time. And I need two in the ones place. So these three numbers use those same digits. Two, seven, zero. Two, seven, and zero. Two, seven, and zero. But when you see it laid out in the place value, you can see that these numbers are very different. 270, 720, 702. These are very different numbers. All right. The last one, we have something in every single box. Nine, that's a lot. We're gonna need to write very small. One, two, three, four, five. If you run out of room, it's okay if you go out of the box a little bit, just do your best. Six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine hundreds. And then how many tens? We're going to do three tens. One, two, three. Six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in unit form, we have nine hundreds, we have three tens and six ones. In standard form, we have 936. The last thing they want us to do is look at these numbers. We're gonna be looking at the ones place. How many more ones would we need to be able to trade it in for a 10? Remember, we've talked a little bit about this. We really need to know those number bonds for 10. So if we have three, how many more do we need to get to a 10? We would need three. We would need four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. How much is that? Seven. We would need seven more to get there. Now this one has a zero in the ones place. So how many more tens would we need to get to a hundred? Here we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven. Okay. So whether we're talking about three ones or three tens, Three and seven is still the bond that makes that next group. So if I have three ones, I need seven more ones to make 10. If I have three tens, I need seven more tens to make the next hundred. So seven more ones is seven. Seven more tens is 70. See if you can't do it with the last two. Figure out if you can on the last two. How many more would you need to get to 10? Or how many more would you need to get to 100? And I'll see you next time.